Okay, kind of an unusual test ride for me because I have to follow someone. I'm not really used to that. So, this is the Benelli Imperiale 400. So let's start this unusual test right here with somebody I have to follow. As I said, I've never done this before and I don't feel comfortable with it because I'm still a beginner. So I don't really like to follow anybody. what it's like so there's no wind protection naturally <coughs> um, it's quite good actually <laughs> Because I think naked bikes and I mean, okay, it's not called a naked bike, but it's naked here They don't feel that bad, you know compared to my CB500X which has a windshield and which is pretty bad with the turbulences and stuff There's a lot of vibration going on here at 80 kilometers already from the front wheel. I don't know what the hell that is a little bit better at 100 now okay I think I'm going to fly off of it now 100, 110 has a lot of pressure on me naturally vibrations are better now I think it only has 5 gears yeah only 5 gears That's what I expected, you know, because they're all more, they're not, not beginners, and I'm a beginner and I'm not riding that fast, so they just leave me behind. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? A lot of 
wind on me here. I can hardly move my my feet. <laughs> A lot of pressure from the wind. Let's hope we get off here. What can I say to the uh, Benelli Imperiale 400? I don't know how to pronounce this in Italian. Uh, it has a very favorable price for of, uh, of 3,799 euros plus uh, registration. And uh, yeah, they're getting off there. It has about 20 horsepower. Finally. This is not really made for the autovia, it's more made for the for the country road here, you know, hopefully we'll be going here now. engine doesn't sound too bad but nothing to write home about to be honest uh, I don't know I guess it's you know this is almost a 400 so I guess I shouldn't compare it to the Royal Enfield 650 <laughs> but uh, at least the exhaust sound from the 650 sounds much much nicer at least that's what I've what I hear so far here from this because it's very windy it's very hard to hear anything Yeah, that's a good ride. Actually, I almost would have done the same thing, more or less. But of course, you know, I would have liked to have a walk around. But you cannot have everything. Hopefully, we can test ride this at another dealer here in in the Malaga area, and then I can take some pretty pictures because it really looks nice, you know. It really looks retro, all these uh, turn signals, look at these, they're really good old-fashioned turn signals. <laughs> There's no LED here, I know that's intentional of course.
say it's you know it's just a four i mean i'm sorry i don't want to sound negative it is a 400 so seven uh, 373 cubic centimeters and uh, of course that's what you expect the uh, you know the uh, power it has 20 horsepower the uh, my cb 500x has 48 so of course you cannot compare it. it's only half of the uh, uh, power you know you cannot compare this Uh, three to four thousand lots of vibrations they're getting better past that yeah as I said once again I'm sorry that I cannot have a real test ride which I usually do where I can do whatever I want but uh, hopefully we can do this with another shop I don't know why they are so strange that you only that they only do these rides here that's kind of strange only a group of three people including me so you know what the hell nobody really understands yeah talking about the seat it's spring uh, spring dampened you know but uh, there is actually there's a lot of vi mini vibrations coming from the seat vibrations from the seat I guess when you're heavier you won't feel it that much maybe I don't know it only has 216 kilometers on it is that true total yeah I think so so still fairly new So I guess the only plus side to t to go on these outings here or whatever you call them these test rides with somebody else leading you <laughs> is that you learn maybe new roads you know get to know new roads that's the only thing maybe But yeah, the overall impression, not too bad for the price, you know, you always have to consider the price and the uh, power, what you get. And 
the retro style if somebody is into that that's really cool as I said unfortunately I cannot really take any good pictures here See if we can take over these. No, maybe not. Okay, so that was it. Yeah, the Benelli Imperiale 400. Not too bad for this price and for the power. I, uh, hopefully I can test it further in uh, another review. Uh, I mean test right, sorry. <laughs> and uh, the first impression, not too bad. Pretty good actually. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching my first impression I don't really want to call it a real test right which I usually do uh, of the Benelli Imperiale 400 I will find out what this is in, in uh, Italian so I can pronounce it properly <laughs> I've been a rider.